So let's go ahead and analyze each part on this one. First part says find AC. Let's go ahead and notate our right angle. And our right angle is over here too. So within this triangle that I'm going to highlight, <coughs> AC is our hypotenuse. Is that right? So that would be our triple, 7, 24, and 25. And then for AG, if the whole thing is 25 and we have BC as a radius and GC is also a radius, we're looking at 7. So what is 25 minus 7? 18. So that would be our AG. Oh, yes, yes. I got you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then let's go to our FH. Let's take a different color and highlight the right triangle. Have a good weekend. Thanks, me too. Thank you. Could I also write that CE as a radius so it's also a 7? 7? Mm. Why? Let's do Pythagorean theorem real quick. 7 squared plus 9 squared. Next time. Next time. Sounds good. <laughs> so when y'all did 49 plus 81 is equal to, I'm gonna just going to say x squared. Wasn't that 130? Yeah. So then when I square root this, let's kind of think about what would actually split. We know we have 13 times 10 and then 5 and 2. Do I have a pair? No. no. So the whole thing for the x is going to be radical 30, but we want to also take away what? The 7 because we only want fh. So we have radical 130 minus a 7. It looks pretty fancy only because a radical 30 cannot further split, or it's not a whole number. So it's radical 130 minus 7. And then let's find af. For that one, we see another right triangle right here. Do y'all see that too? Yeah. AF. So we know that is 25 and that is 7. So that means A to E must be how many? 24. Then what is 24 minus 9? Hmm. 24 minus 9 is 15. That's it. I need to I think the only confusing thing is that there's a lot of triangles jumbled on top of each other. So if you want to separate on the side, go for it. But if you don't need to, that's fine too. All right, 13. Kate, let's read. Okay, let's put a dot at the center. And because we're looking at tangents, let's go ahead and connect them. What was the radius of the smaller one? Three. And then the bigger one is? Five. Okay. And then what I want you to do is connect center to center to the vertex. And that should cut it exactly in half between these two, I guess, waffle cone. Now, something will be easy to find somewhat. So y'all ready? Would you guys agree from here to here is also five? And here to here is also three? So that means from center to center is eight units. So let's go ahead and call the remaining right here to the tip X. Let's go ahead and separate the triangle. We have the larger one and the smaller one and notate the right angle. The given information, we have the short leg, and then the hypotenuse, which is eight plus x. Are we good with that one? On the little one, we have three and x. 
Could we do Pythagorean? Not Pythagorean. Proportion again. So I'm going to say 5 over a plus x. You can reverse that if you want. And then let's go ahead and cross multiply. So I'm going to say 5x. What would the 3 do to the 8 and the x? Not add, but distribute. So it would be 24 plus 3x. So that's going to give us 2x is 12. No, not 12. 24 is still there. Ooh. And then x is 12. So let's put in this x is 12. The question asks us to find what? AB. AB. So can I now use Pythagorean using 5 and 20? Yes. Okay, let's redraw this. Here's my big right triangle. Here's a right angle. That's 5, and then I have 20 as my hypotenuse. And let's call the unknown N. So we have 5 squared is 25 plus n squared is equal to, how many is 20 all squared? 400. So we have n squared is equal to, is that 375? Mm -hmm. 375, and something can be simplified, so let's go ahead and break this down. How do you wanna split 375? Five and 75? Do we agree on that, five and 75? Yes. Oh, 75. And how can I split the 75? I don't know, you tell me, 5 and 15? You want to do 25? Well, I kind of like 25, yes. 25 and 3, 5 and 5. So when we need a pair. I have a pair right here. And then the remaining does not have a pair, so what do I do back inside the radical? Multiply. So that means AB is 5 root 15.